I'm going now. Hey, hey, Hammy here. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of different Marvel Avengers bootlegs. Dear God, help us. Please. Please give me strength. Now, just for the record, as this video is dropping, Avengers Endgame has been out for about a couple weeks and has already shattered box office records. Well on its way to being one of the, if not the most successful movie ever, as someone has to beat those stereotypical blue guys. Avengers games, however, yeah. Off You're doing. making me nervous. They've never exactly been very good, the major exceptions being one or two here and there. Like Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 2018, Hulk Ultimate Destruction, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and even, like, the Lego game. I hear those are pretty good. Most of it is pretty embarrassing, though. But now we have the power of technology on our side. Surely we as a society have pulled ourselves up by our bootstraps and made a great, nay, amazing superhero game. That couldn't possibly be bad. Oh. Oh no. What? What the heck is happening? I, we're like two seconds in and I already don't know what's going on. There's yellow Spider-Man of Banana Minions. SOS! Spider-Man, known for web singing, fighting crime, riding in banana car, babysitting minions. Ah uh, yes, like two peas in a pod, Doctor Strange and Lightning McQueen. They go together. Okay, hit the balls to get points and go to the finish point to complete the level. Sounds easy enough. What? Why are, why are the minions green now? Maybe that's not the right question. What is happening? Ah, uh, yes, I think we've passed through some sort of interdimensional gateway. Or someone asked a question and rolled the dice because I'm pretty sure we're in the darkest timeline. Just gotta stay on the track, I guess. Oh, oh no! No! Oh no! Oh god, oh god, oh god! This thing is so unstable! What the heck? Surely it's only made better by the fact that it barely has any sound effects and one music loop that lasts about five seconds. I have one question, who would play this? Why? Oh boy, I can't wait to unlock all my favorite characters. Wolverine, Goku, Cyclops in the hippie van. Oh uh, no, he's too expensive. Now I'm not sure why your objective would be to hit things with your car. Wouldn't you want to avoid things? You know, I'm actually kind of getting some serious super monkey ball vibes from this. That or that Gmod Tower minigame that like me and five other people have played. Hey, just by the way, this game is called Genius Superhero Chili Mania. This one's my favorite of the Chili Mania series. Oh no, Erica tried to warn us. That's right, I played this game enough to unlock Doctor Strange Lightning McQueen combo. What's that? Why? Because I've lost control of my life. Now we can play as the truest superhero combo. Wait, no, what the heck, man? You don't even see Doctor Strange. I'm just playing as Lightning McQueen. This is false advertising. I'll stop you. I'm supposed to hit the balls. I'm supposed to hit them. Whoa, 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 oh God, no. Oh no, I think I'm stuck. Oh yeah, I'm stuck. Now I know what you're thinking. What about that game, but with motorcycles? Superheroes downhill racing. Select your favorite hero. Well done, Avenger hero. Okay, I see like two Avengers there. Hold on, maybe Goku's in now. He's in a lot of stuff. What is this, Fortnite we dropping? Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. The crew's all together. You got Spider-Man, you got Wolverine, you got Superman, Goku, Deadpool, that's right. Loving that costume change. Flash, and you top it off with the cap. I don't know what's going on. This is like literally the same game. Why am I still playing this? Iron Avenger Robot Man. Longer you touch, more power you'll get. Touch this button to and release to jump. Touch this button down and release to fire. Easy, I got this.
All right, this time is the one. I'm going for the record, the high score. Yeah, get out of here, alien scum. Cool, I love ads. So I think it's pretty obvious that we're all gonna need a lot of willpower to get through some of this stuff. I know, shocking. The problem is half this stuff isn't even really worth talking about, like this Captain America slide puzzle. Have you ever wanted to do that? Ever? Usually what ends up happening is you go down the list of games and you see something so stupid and so weird that you have to play it. Superhero fighting game, Immortals Shadow War 2K19. What does that mean? What is that? Is this like an annual series? I gotta get on that mailing list. Oh yes, totally real game, am real. Enjoy Fever of Ultimate Battle of Shadow Fighting, Revenge of Rope Spider. Get ready for one of the best 2019 challenging ultra immortal fighting game, Ultimate Grand Warrior Strike of Legends with amazing superhero costumes. Don't forget your enemy is also an Avengers hero. It's not just a street kung fu fighter's legendary reborn, but a tag team fighting experience of special powers of beasts. Individually, I understand the words, but you start putting them together and I don't understand it. What's up with that? Really cool title screen. I love that there's no title and that Iron Man is stepping on Aquaman. Marvel is really asserting their dominance over DC here. Literally every character is behind a paywall of some kind, so you actually have to play the game to unlock the characters. Or you could just pay the low, low price of $13.99. None of these characters even have their real names. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite hero, Shield Man and Web Hunter. Batman? Dead Pal? Green Monster? I can't wait! It's gonna be great! <laughs> what? Black Widow? What? Uh, so we can't use Black Widow because we're gonna get sued, so, uh, what can we- what can we name this character? Oh, how about Black Widow? Oh, I get it! Street Kung Fu Fighters Legendary Reborn! Dear God, what is this hot trash? I swear to God, I've been playing this for like 20 minutes and I still don't know fully how this game controls. I think what might be going on is you have to hold different directions as you press one of the buttons. But honestly, does it even matter? You can do whatever you want and you should theoretically never lose. I mean, just look at this. I can just spam one move and the AI doesn't even know what to do. And once I figured out this move, the game was over. I won the game. So I guess it's time for our reward. What do we get? A black screen. Are you kidding me? It broke? Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm pretty sure the developer just didn't put an ending in here because he never expected anyone to get this far. I mean, why go through all the effort to put in an ending that no one's gonna see? That's okay, because I made enough money to play as Green Monster now. He's so good. I think we all know the real hero here is the dog that runs in the background. 10 out of 10, wood pet. That's not even the only fighting Marvel game on the App Store. Immortal Superhero Kung Fu Fighting Challenge. Or wait, is it just fighting game? I mean, you gotta take some time to really appreciate this. You just got the animated version of Cyclops here, but then you just have live-action Benedict Cumberbatch Doctor Strange. With your fan-favorite yellow Spider-Man, but he appears to have, like, juggernaut hands? What, what, what are these characters? Red Bear! Yeah, that's probably a new multiverse hero. Black Light? Oh, I'm sorry, Black Old Light? Yellow Spider-Man? What is everyone's obsession with Yellow Spider-Man? Why is Green Lantern here? I mean, at least it's got Cyclops and Doctor Strange, so... It's not false advertising. the same game, but for some reason it actually has more buttons to control what's going on. Everything at least looks a little bit more polished. Like, hey, maybe this isn't gonna be so bad. I'm just gonna fight Black Olight. It's not a big deal. This is the only song, by the way, and, uh, well, you know what? It, it grows on you. One, two, three, four, clap your hands. One, two, three, 
before. Clap your hands. Yeah, got the KO. <laughs> the ultimate mirror match, but I have the ultimate strategy. It's Dr. Strange's famous move, the chun -Li kick. That's right, baby, I did it. Now that's a nice ending screen. Why did I play all the way through this game? All right, it's time to see what people have to say about Incredible Big Man Monster. Good, I mean, it's better than any other game I can think of, like better than GTA V, Veteran Home Good, I love it, part where it goes against Julia, and I think there was a glitch. Robert punched Julia, so that was like so cool, but who would think that would happen? Me, of course. It's amazing, don't worry, it was just wishing if you made it, part two. How to say one last thing before I got to go, I hated your game, because like I wanted to see where Hulk gets its powers, like the play as Bruce Banner and... Five stars. Well, this game is certainly incredible. <laughs> makes no sense why do i have a baseball bat why is this guy bigger than the hulk why does the game have a beat-em-up component to it hulk just freaking struts as he beats up people hulk's muscles are just bulging out of his back and he can run so hard i don't i don't get it i don't get am i missing something i don't get it Baby, I should go to Olive Garden, take, take a trip to Olive Garden. I just don't understand why you even make a game at all. You can't even call it the real thing. There are so many ridiculous games out here. We haven't even covered the plethora of running games out there. What about the game where you shoot a bunch of zombies? What does this have to do with being a superhero? I'm obviously not the character I chose. My hands don't even change. But you know what? This game is definitely a 10 out of 10. You can put Thor on the terrorist team. It's like a Deadpool Iron Man mixed ripoff called Iron Avenger Infinite Warfare. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. What about Spider Stick Man, Rope Hero, Gangster Crime? This game gave my life meaning when all hope was lost. I was seconds away from taking my life, my work life was hell, and my wife left me and took the kids. But then I found this game, and suddenly everything changed. Colors seemed more vibrant, my life finally seems like it amounts to something. I could not ask for a more wonderful game. It cured my depression, and now my life has turned around. My colleagues love me, my wife has returned with my wonderful children. Yeah, but you know, for some reason, I'm just not seeing it i just don't you know i just don't get how the game did that for you i mean it's basically just a grand theft auto clone but you play as spider-man you know that actually sounds like a really cool concept except for nothing works and everything sucks okay well we haven't really covered captain america games too much how about some of his bootleg games that are out there Never mind, I take it back! US Police Captain Transform Dino City Attack. Wait, but the game on the App Store is called Super Captain Hero Flying Robot Rescue Mission. Where did the dinosaurs come from? Why are the dinosaurs shooting missiles? What is happening? All you do is fly around and shoot missiles at dinosaurs. Wait, but now I'm shooting helicopters and trucks. Are the dinosaurs and the army working together? The only other move I could actually use is throwing the shield. The shield doesn't even have a P on it anymore. It's just Captain America's shield. Don't get this confused with the last game. This is a totally different game. Avenger Captain Robot Rescue Hero. All right, here we go. <laughs> what? A truly inspiring origin story. There is a civilian been injured in a bomb explosion. Go rescue him. I mean, that's what I'm here for, baby. I'm here to rescue civilians. At least I'm out here acting like a f superhero, finally. So I ain't complaining just yet. Okay, never mind. I have some complaints. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious to everyone that I'm some sort of amalgamation between Captain America and Iron Man. I'm the best of both worlds! Screw Iron Man, screw Captain America, I'm Captain Robot. The most patriotic of all the superheroes. The best part about this game is easily all of the intros to the levels.
A gang's trying to steal a car. Stop them. I mean, I don't want to be snooty, but I think that's a little under my pay grade. A woman's being hit by a car. Go rescue her. I mean, you don't have to tell me twice. I'm a superhero captain robot. Uh-oh, what's going on now? Oh, no, a fire. That doesn't look good. Uh, <laughs> rescue the girl stuck in the building on fire. How did she get there? All right, so I guess the bank's been robbed, and I gotta stop a bunch of robbers. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I spell out AK-47? That's right, baby! I'm the superhero! This is what superheroes do, right? Right? They sh they mow people down, murder them relentlessly without any chance to surrender? All right, so a lot of these have been done so far, uh, but there's gotta be something out there, right? There's gotta be something. I mean, yeah, sure, there is some stuff, but most of it's painfully average. You got games that are basically mediocre platformers. You got some idle clicker style games. There was even this Minecraft mini game that was actually kind of fun. Everyone would pick their favorite superhero, which would give you different abilities, but everyone's objective was the same. You build up your base, you get new abilities, and you go out and steal other people's money. The matches were ludicrously long, though, and it takes way too many hits to kill someone. But everything that you would want to use to customize your character to make them stand out was so expensive, it was pretty obvious that this was just a huge cash grab. The only game that I even somewhat enjoyed was this game called Super City. It might be the only game I've actually ever liked from the App Store. And that's because it's really stupid, but funny. In this game, you choose a character that has a civilian and superhero persona based on some of your favorite characters. There are a lot of characters here, and you can even be a villain or a hero. But the game is basically a turf war beat-em-up comic book story generator. All these characters basically just run around and beat the crap out of each other. And it's amazing. I went with Roger Steve, aka Patriot. This city was a civilized place before those mutants started fighting over every region. If I can't bring an end to this futile war, <laughs> this is the only place left that hasn't been dragged into your ridiculous war, Miracle Lass. This is where your story ends, Roger Stevens. Without the bedroom, you have nothing left. I'll show you, Miracle Lass. No, oh, what the reversal? It's a pretty great game, and it actually made me laugh out loud more than a few times. There's also just so many characters that inevitably something funny will happen. Like the time I was taking a nap to try and heal and Scream came up to me and told me that I couldn't sleep here. We own the schoolyard, Roger. You can't sleep here. Well, I guess it's time to throw down there, motherfucker. There was also the time I got in a fight in the cafeteria. Your feeble leadership has suffocated this place, Moonwalker. Only I can fulfill its potential. I'm here to protect the cafeteria from monsters like you, Aftershock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, God. Uh, Moonwalker, help me. Help me, Moonwalker. <laughs> Oh, you think you can take on Roger Steve? Don't even need my superpowers to beat the crap out of you! Uh, oh no, Freddy, stop! Stop! Why aren't you guys helping me? There was also the time I'm pretty sure I teamed up with Obama in the subway station. That was pretty fun. Sure, man, you could be my sidekick! I'll go wherever you go, Patriot! We'll make twice as much progress together! But yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff that I found that was worth talking about. Well... Maybe there's one more thing. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stock. I'm, I'm going now, I think. Ow, actually. Oh, man, this actually really freaking hurts. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Ah! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like these. Let me know what you think. What, what do you guys want in the future? More videos like this? Were there some very good games that I missed? Thank you, as always, to all the patrons out there supporting me over on Patreon. Much love to you. And if you just can't wait for more videos, I got two more videos for you right there. Just made a video a few weeks ago on modding Mario Kart. And how about another video similar to this one, Cuphead Bootlegs? That's it for me this time, guys. See you on the next video.